guys, my name is Riley and welcome back to Need to Know Horses. Today we're talking about cleaning saddles and specifically leather saddles. So we've had this saddle for a while, this is an Aussie saddle and it's just got a lot of dust on it, it's been sitting for a while, the panels are kind of stiff. So I have three different cleaners that we're going to try using on it today. The one that I used for the longest time is this liquid saddle soap, so you just spray it on. Um, and you actually spray it on like a sponge or a rag and then wipe the saddle. You don't spray it directly on the tack. Um, and then after cleaning it with that, I would do neat split oil. And then one of the not super new ones we got, but um, we've had it for maybe a couple of years and just started using it recently, is this other saddle. It's called Saddle Spa by Rainforest. It's a leather spa. So um, I think it's mostly just a soap, yeah, saddle soap. So we're going to. Um, show how that works and then um, also put knee split oil over that once that dries and then the last one we have is a leather cleaner and conditioner so we won't be putting oil over that one but we'll see how that works on this as well and we just got this one not long ago from um, a high point that I won so we're gonna try using that I did use it on a saddle just a little bit ago and I do like it so we'll see how it does on this where the leather is actually older and does actually need more conditioning so let's get started. Alrighty. So here's how I have this set up. Is I have the spray, which I'll spray onto the sponge, and then I have a little bowl of water because it's always best to use the water. It helps to open the pores on the saddle for when you're ready to do the oil. So um, all I'm gonna do is make sure that the sponge is just like slightly damp, uh, and you can use rags. I've done that before toothbrushes if you have a lot of fine tooling. As you can see, this saddle doesn't, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and before I put any soap on it, I'm going to just kind of split this right down the middle. Because we'll do two on this side, and then the other, the other cleaner on the other side. So there's kind of our middle line. You can see the top up here is very dry, so it's already soaking up that water right away. So we'll do this side with this soap, and then this side um, with the smallest container that we have, which is that leather spa. So we'll get started right away. Just washing out my sponge, getting the little bit of dirt off of it that it had. And do a couple squirts of saddle soap on there, and then just kind of squish it in. And then circular motions is the best for leather. And we'll see how clean we can get this saddle with this. kind of see on the sponge already how it's getting dirty, which is why we keep the bowl of water with us instead of just getting the sponge wet so we can wash the sponge off. So you can see how dirty the sponge is, so I'm going to rinse it off in a little bowl of water here. And I will have to stop and get a new bowl of water between each. So 
So we're back. We have clean water, new sponge, and then this leather soap that we're going to use. And we're going to do that on this other half. So you can already see down on the line where we were cleaning versus what hasn't been cleaned yet. Again, get my sponge wet. damp and then with this stuff just circle it in there there's a light kind of whitish coating on it just super light so that I can tell that the soap is in it but not completely taking over the entire sponge and we'll just kind of start in the middle here Again, it's dirty. And this soap stays on the sponge a bit better, so I don't need to use quite as much either. Alrighty, so we're on to the third one, which is this cream, which is a leather cleaner and conditioner. You can see, you can see it's kind of creamy. Um, it's not as hard as the other saddle soap. Um, so I've only used it one other time, and I, it does have directions on it. The others, this one doesn't have any directions on it, and I've read that thing a lot of times to try to make sure. Um, and then this one does also have directions. So, it's not a brand new sponge, it's just one that I was using earlier, so it's a little dirty, but I'm going to use that again. Just make sure that it's damp. We're going to try kind of do down the center here so that I can show you the before and then the three different afters. And then this one, with it being a little bit more of a cream, just kind of dab it on a little bit um, and I do like using like the edge with this stuff So there I have a coating on the entire face of the sponge. I tried to find some tape to put over the center lines, but I couldn't find any. I'm gonna do what we did on the 
other side and just focus on this little section for a little bit. See if it makes a difference. Okay, so we are back to do the oiling. Uh, you can see this side is pretty dry from before. Um, I personally don't like the feeling of oil in my hands, so I just try to find a pair of gloves to wear with them. Um, just I, I hate that oily feeling. And then I have um, another clean sponge. You don't want to use a sponge that you've used with the soap and the cleaner because it will repel the oil off of the sponge, of course. usually just get a dab of oil on there and then again circular motions if you have tack that isn't super dry um, I'll go over that with the other saddle but it's in a different video I'll do that but it's um, best to not do heavy amounts of oil you generally want to do a light layer of oil versus a thick coating like I have going on and you can wipe oil off of these areas if it tends to be too much Here you can see I'm just putting more on but you can wipe oil off which is generally what you'll do after about 24 hours if it hasn't soaked in so there you can see it has a pretty good coating of oil on it and I'll leave it like that so it can dry I'm just gonna do one coat of oiling for now even though this will probably be dry before we're done making the video even. I'm gonna put a little more oil on the sponge here and I'm gonna do this other side. Make sure I get all up everywhere that we clean. You never wanna do oil before you clean. Um, you always want to make sure that you get some type of water on the saddle, even if you just wipe it down with water. Give it a little oil and then put the oil on. Because uh, if you don't, the oil won't soak in as nice. Or at all, sometimes. And if the oil's not soaking in, like I said, after about 24 hours, wipe off any oil that's left. Because that just means that the saddle can't take the oil. see got a layer of oil on there and you can already see that this side 
it's kind of dried off a bit. See how much less glossy it is. So we're going to leave that like that. And I will also show on the other side just the putting oil on without cleaning it first. Later. see how quickly that's just soaking it up. Like I said, this isn't supposed to be like this, which is why it's soaking oil up so fast. This is supposed to be a lot softer than it is. Alright, so on this side here, this little section, I'm just going to show you how the oil goes on without having it wet or cleaned at all. I have quite a bit of oil on this sponge, and you can see it's not even making it through the grime that's on here. There we go, we got a coating of oil on there. And I'll set that to time lapse and just let it run for a little bit so you can see uh, how well that soaks up or if it won't even soak up. Okay, so it's been about 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes here, but as you can see, this hasn't soaked in, this hasn't soaked in, and so it's not soaking in as well. Now, if I left it for 24 hours, it maybe would soak all the way in, um, but it's taking a lot longer. I'll do time lapse on the other side when I put a second layer of oil on it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how oil works on here, cause on this stuff, which was the cream. because. Like I said, we've only used that, this is the second time I'm using it, um, and I literally just used it earlier today, so I'm going to see how this works with it. So I'm going to get another piece of tape here, since I found it. I'm just going to do a small section at the bottom. If you're doing this with a saddle you're going to show in, I would not recommend doing all this testing stuff on it that I'm doing. Definitely don't attempt that. This is a saddle that we don't show in um, and we aren't using too much, so I'm not too worried about if something goes wrong with it. small section down here just to see how this stuff does with the oil because it doesn't I don't think you need to do oil over this stuff so I'm curious to see how it ends up but I will probably look it up and see if we're supposed to do a layer of oil over it anyways uh, so I'll leave that to soak in there and uh, I will turn the saddle around and show you um, how that saddle turned out, get some pictures of it, and then put a second layer of oil on there and do a time lapse for you to see that.
Alright, so it's been a lot less time and this is mostly soaked up. There's still a couple of spots where it's wet. Um, so what I'm going to do with this saddle is I'm just going to put it off to the side and I'll take some uh, more after pictures later uh, once we see how it's doing. I'm going to turn it around and see the other side. So that section that I did at the bottom is also pretty dried. Still a little wet. Feels about the same as without the oil on it. Um, but you can see this is even still wet all up there. So definitely that's why you want to clean your tack before you try to put oil on it. And uh, I'll clean this, the rest of this thing up uh, probably in a couple of weeks actually because we're going to use it to demonstrate a couple of different things for some other people. But um, this will be cleaned up again. Um, maybe I'll do a time lapse of the next time I clean it, probably all with this stuff, um, maybe with with this other stuff, but uh, I'll decide later, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, you can comment down below, and I'll try to get around to answering them either in the comments or in another video. Uh, if you have any questions about anything horse-related, from tack cleaning to grooming to show prep, anything, um, you can put it in the comments and I'll either make a video on it or if it's just a quick simple yes or no answer I'll answer it right in the comments um, and we will get around to those videos as time goes on. Um, this is a good channel for anything you need to know horses. I know there's not a lot up yet. Um, I've been working on getting some new videos set to up for that so I will see you guys next time in who knows what we're doing next um, but I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye!